Well, the situation right now is that enormous amounts of personal data are being collected about us uh, individuals every single day. They're being connected, uh, they're being collected uh, from when we use public transport, when we use uh, uh, from our uh, IoT uh, devices, from our mobile phones, when we shop, when we use public services, when we visit our doctor. Uh, at the same time, this, uh, this data gets uh, hoarded up by a few monopolies. Uh, and thus the power symmetries become very uh, uh, unbalanced. Uh, so my claim that why we need a human-centric approach is that uh, uh, to improve our democracy, uh, to improve the lives of citizens, uh, and to improve the economic well-being. In, in other words, to improve the economy as a whole, to make it more fair and balanced. So what, what I mean um, is that uh, uh, we want personal data to be shared and used. Uh, uh, the core idea of my data is, is not that data should not be used. It's that individuals should be in control of the data about them. Uh, and this control, this agency uh, um, is about strengthening digital uh, human rights, uh, data protection, the right to your data, the right to freedom of choice are fundamental rights. Uh, and at the same time, we realize that good digital services uh, may uh, and, and often do use personal data, um, but that usage of, of personal data should be based on, on, on mutual trust. So it's a matter of rights, but also good, ethical, uh, innovative new business. So uh, what and why we want this uh, um, is that we want a, a, a digital society, a fair, sustainable and prosperous digital society, uh, um, which, which a human centric approach uh, enables. Uh, so in that, in this world, uh, people get value uh, from the data and set the agenda on how that data about them, the individuals, is used. And also for the organizations, this kind of ethical, fair use of personal data is the most attractive option. And it's a big ask, a big shift, uh, um, of course, uh, and, and, and that's why it is a vision, not, not quite a reality. And basically three types of shifts, uh, uh, which, which I'm sure we will we'll touch on, uh, um, uh, are needed for that to happen. First, we need uh, a shift from formal to actionable rights. Uh, and this means that, that, that getting access to my, my personal data or for me to reuse my personal data or for me to delete, uh, for example, my data should be one click, one click rights, not rights that I need to do in clumsy ways through courts, for example. Secondly, we need to think about people, uh, not as uh, 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 some objects to be protected, uh, uh, but rather autonomous uh, individuals who by combining data from different places are able to use that data uh, to make choices about their lives, be it health data or finance data, uh, maybe your, your mobility or your carbon footprint, um, whatever it might be, combining data from multiple sources to be empowered uh, in our personal lives. And then thirdly, uh, we need to shift from closed to open ecosystems, uh, meaning that, uh, like I said, uh, uh, data and services tend to monopolize at the moment uh, where, where the, the uh, platform and the capabilities of smaller companies and individuals to innovate and build good services is hindered by the power uh, um, of the big tech companies. Uh, and we need to change that so that indeed we can get our data out of the silos uh, and reuse it in other places. And that makes also the business landscape, the competitive landscape more fair. 
Uh, so that, in essence, uh, um, is what we what we mean when we talk about uh, uh, the human centric approach.